What's going on guys? In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to wash your car. My style. All right, so this is gonna be my method. We're gonna put regular dish soap in here and then we're gonna fill this up with water. Thanks. Okay, so we're gonna let that fill up. Okay, that's looking good. Now I'm just gonna connect the hose to my pressure washer. So this is the pressure washer I bought from Home Depot. It's about 100 bucks, it's only 16 PSI, and it packs a punch. From Amazon, I bought a foam cannon and a handle. These two cost 30 bucks. Also, everything that came in this bucket, I got it for 20 bucks from Costco. Now your first step is super simple. All you're gonna do is with the pressure washer is just rinse down your car. So I'm gonna show you how. The best way to do this is from top to bottom. Just make sure you can blast off any dirt and debris that may be stuck. And let's go ahead and do the other side. All right, so once you rinse it down, we're gonna go to the next step. So the next step, we're gonna use a foam cannon and fill it up with some regular dish soap. The reason why I'm doing this is I'm trying to take off the old wax. However, you can skip this step and just use regular car wax and soap. You wanna fill it up to, I'd say this line. All right, so we're just gonna fill it up with this much. Now let's go fill this up with some warm water. All right, so we gotta fill it up with warm water. Okay, so this is ready to go. <laughs> it's so simple, so you wanna take this off by pushing this down. All you gotta do to connect this, push this right in. That's it. Now, watch this, this is gonna be so cool. Using a foam cannon never gets old. It amazes me every single time. Jeez, this looks so wicked right now. All right, on to the next step. Next step, we wipe down the car with this microfiber wash mitt. All we do is basically soak it up in the water. We're gonna go to the car, and we're just gonna wipe it from left to right. So what I do is divide the car into four sections or four quarters. For every section, I always rinse the mitt afterwards and then start again. Now we're gonna do the bumper. All right, let's go do the rear of the car. It's best to have one of these things called a grit guard. So when every time you wipe, you basically remove all the dirt. Okay, that's pretty good for the rear. It doesn't take that long to wash a car, to be honest. You wanna do some miscellaneous spots, such as your door jams. You also wanna do under your door. And don't forget, gas cap. All right, so we're done with the wipe down. Now we're just gonna rinse off anything that's remaining. All right, so we go back to and we're just gonna rinse everything down. All right, we're done with the rinse down. Next step, we are gonna be doing a little bit of detailing. This is a clay bar. I'm gonna start off with a hood. Basically, you just spray it down with water and you just rub it, just like this, cross-hatching pattern. This step is just gonna smoothen down the surface a little bit more to make it more reflective. You don't have to do this, but if you're really meticulous and you wanna get things done right, you might wanna consider using a clay bar. Every time you're gliding the clay bar, it's gonna get a lot smoother to the point where it's just, there's no friction at all. That's how you know your clay bar is actually doing its job. Now it's time to dry the car. What I like to do is fold my towels into different, different sections so every component of the car gets wiped down by one side, then another side, and then it's wiped down by a dry side, a dry side, and then I open it up. It's kind of like one of those uh, cootie catcher thingies. I think that's about it. And you just want to maybe like draw the windows or something. This step, we are going to be waxing the car. This is our protective layer and our final thing that we're ever going to do. What you want to use is a buffer pad like this that is really soft to the touch. I probably just ruined it right now, but I don't even care. So you're just going to take this, pour some on. Okay, so we're just going to pour it. Why don't I just do this? All right, so we got it basically all over the bumper and the trunk and the lip and the tail lights. Now let's go to the side of the car. You see how it's like glossy and starting to haze? So that's actually working. Okay, so that's the side of the car. All right, so that's the front side and some of the fenders. One more side to go. Holy crap, this tool makes things, makes life like 10 times easier. Done, now we just gotta take all this off. Taking this off won't be hard, you just gotta take a cloth and just wipe it off. Like, it looks so good in person. I'm gonna have to show you the clip the next day. I wish there was sunlight here so you can see how crazy this looks. All right, let's do this right here. Okay, that's the fender, let's get the door. See how hazy it is over here? Now check that out, it's insane. Jeez, guys, this is the next day of my car. Holy smokes. I've never seen this so shiny before. Like, it looks so beautiful right now. Wow. Wow. 
One thing you cannot forget to clean is the wheel. Let's see how dirty this is. So right here. Damn. That is disgustingly dirty, even though we just washed the car. By spraying down with soap and water, it's just gonna loosen up all the dirt particles. After that, you just wanna take a paper towel and really just wipe down the surface. Last step is using a tire shine. I'm gonna use Auto Glim Instant Tire Dressing. It gives you like a semi-matte kind of finish, so let's check this out. Now with that, you wanna take a cloth and just wipe it down. All right. That's ah, looking so much better now. Keep in mind, this is actually two days after I washed my car, so it, my car definitely collected some dust. Notice how dirty it is over here. Simple wipe down. Whoa, it just got instantly better. So I like to do in between the spokes, like on the side angles. Yeah, you can see a lot of dirt accumulating. All this brake dust is definitely gonna just ruin my wheels again. So there's really no point as to thoroughly cleaning this. That's looking a lot more sleeker. All right, and there you have it. Here's a quick time lapse of me just doing the driver side. Let's be honest, guys, it would have looked better if a car model was doing this. If you guys like this tutorial, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys.